All right, so now we got internet access and we turn on computer. Let's go ahead and log in to the site, okay? All right, let's click sign in and let us go ahead and enter our email address. Let us enter our password and log in into our email and check all of our emails that are sent to our account right now. Now let us just pause there for a moment. What if a computer has already been hacked and the hacker could see all of the things that you entered inside your device? And of course, if you see ransomware, it means that it is truly came over. There is no other need for analysis or indicators that your computer has been hacked. And what is happening behind the scene is that we have already hacked into the computer and we're monitoring everything that the user is doing. And if I go in and enter key scan underscore dumb inside my hacker's computer and I hit enter on this, we can see everything that the user has entered into the computer and I can see the password right here as 12345678. So we have full control and full access into the entire computer system. So you'll be wondering what the hell is going on? So majority of time, a hacker is going to be able to silently watch everything that you're doing inside your computer system. And this is unlike those ransomware where you pop up and it scares you and you know for sure you're already hacked. But instead, we'll be looking at three signs, three indicators that your computer has under monitoring by a hacker. Now, what I want to do is go to the bottom left side. All right, click under the start menu and go ahead and enter CMD. And this would go and bring us into command prompt. So go ahead and hit enter on that. And what I want you to do now is go ahead and enter NetStat to see all the existing connection that you have with any other computers outside of your PC. All right, so in this case, we have the following. We have several connections for HTTPS. All right, so that is normal. But if you see right here, all right, we got the following, which is the hacker's IP address. In this case, we have the following 192.168.0.192 and port 4444. So this is the hacker who is connecting and remotely controlling and monitoring everything that we're doing inside our computer system. The next thing you want to check for is do a right click at the bottom of your taskbar and click under task manager. So once you click under task manager you want to look out for windows powershell that is running and if you're just using a consumer computer you should not be seeing windows powershell right here okay you see this process right here under processes all right you have windows powershell this should not be there at all. And now going back to the hacker's computer, if I was to enter PS to list all the running processes over here, and if I was to enter, for example, get PID to actually list down the process that we're currently using to hack into the computer, if I enter get PID, and you see the following 3292 as the process ID. And of course, if I see over here, 3292 is PowerShell.exe. And the best way to terminate connection from the hacker is by killing off that particular process. So now going back into our target computer, all I got to do is do a right click and click end task and this will kick the hacker out from your computer and now going back into the hackers box you see right here interpreter session for close reason died and we have managed to kick the hacker off of our computer so the next way to check is to look at a windows firewall and see if it has already been turned on let's go to the bottom left corner all right under the manual and the firewall all right and go ahead and click under windows firewall control panel so once you clicked on it you can see the following over here with the private networks and with the gas or public networks and all of it is turned on so that's great news that the firewall is running so the next best method is go to the bottom left corner under the start manual again and enter defender all right and you will see the following windows defender app let's go ahead and click on it oh gosh the app has been turned off by group policy that means the hacker would have actually went in and disabled your antivirus system. So then the question is, what should we do? Well, the best way is just to throw away the entire computer and that will help you fix all possible hackers from further gaining any access into your computer system, okay? But just kidding. The best way out is to take out your entire hard disk drive. Like seriously, format it or throw it away and install a brand new hard disk because you have no idea what kind of remnants are left remaining inside the computer as a result of a cyber attack. And the other best way is to always prevent hackers from getting access into your computer and that is by updating your computer regularly and always running antivirus scanning inside your computer as well as your mobile devices. And once again, I hope you've learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of the questions. Remember, like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can be kept abreast of the latest ethical hacking tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.